Now let us discuss the Newton's formula and Laplace correction for the propagation of sound or the velocity of sound through a gas. Newton considered the propagation of a sound wave through a gas under isothermal condition. We know for isothermal condition PV equal to a constant K where K is a constant. In this case temperature remains constant. Temperature, let's say temperature T is a constant. So when you derive this equation, that is derivative of P, V is equal to derivative of this constant K. And you can use the product rule for this. We have P into dV plus V into dP is equal to derivative of any constant will be 0. That is P dV is equal to minus V dP or you can write P is equal to minus V dP divided by dV. You can take this V to the denominator of dV. That is P is equal to minus dP divided by dV by V. But you know this is volumetric strain, volumetric strain. So dP by pressure divided by volumetric strain gives the bulk modulus. This one will be the bulk modulus V. So P is equal to B, where B is the bulk modulus. Bulk modulus. But we already derived the formula for the longitudinal waves, the velocity of longitudinal waves equal to root of bulk modulus by density. We already derived this formula before. If you have any doubt, you can always go back and check the video. I'll put the link in the description. So this is equal to, you know the bulk modulus is equal to P, the pressure and divided by density. So according to Newton's formula, the velocity of the sound waves through any gas is equal to the pressure divided by the density. Now we can check whether the value of V satisfies or the value, this theoretical value actually fits that for the real case scenario. Actually, the value of sound waves is the real case that is the experimental value of sound waves is actually 332 meter per second. We will discuss that. Now let's apply the pressure the value of put the values of pressure we have atmospheric pressure is equal to 1.013 into 10 raised to 5 pascal and the density of the air molecule will be 1.293 kilogram per meter cube now if you substitute these values in here so the velocity of the sound wave will be 1.013 into 10 raised to 5 divided by 1.293. When you calculate the value, you will get 280 meter per second. In, exper in experiment or the experimental value, the velocity of sound as we do in experiment, we will get the value as 332 meter per second. So there is a huge difference between these two values. So these two values are not in close agreement. So the so there must be some correction for the Newton's formula. Clear. So there comes Laplace. Laplace corrected the Newton's formula, and Laplace considered the propagation of a sound wave through a gas is an adiabatic process or in an under adiabatic conditions. That is P V raised to gamma equal to a constant. That is here in this case it is adiabatic. Because there is a continuous variation of temperature, the temperature no longer remains constant. Now if you derive this equation, derivative of P V raised to gamma, where gamma is the specific heat ratio. Okay. Where gamma is equal to C P divided by C V molar specific heat at constant pressure divided by molar specific heat at constant volume. This is, this is the gamma. 
derivative of k. Here also you can use the product rule p into derivative of v raised to gamma plus v raised to gamma into derivative of p is equal to derivative of any constant will be zero. So this is equal to p into you know v raised to gamma derivative gamma times v raised to gamma minus 1 into dv plus v raised to gamma dp equal to 0. So this is equal to gamma p uh, v raised to gamma minus 1 dv is e equal to you can take this to the right minus v raised to gamma dp implies gamma p is equal to minus v raised to gamma dp divided by v raised to gamma minus 1 dp. You can take this v raised to gamma to the denominator that is gamma p is equal to minus dp divided by if you take this to the denominator it will be v raised to minus gamma into v raised to gamma minus 1 dv. So this is equal to gamma p is equal to minus dp divided by v raised to minus gamma plus gamma minus 1. You can plug these two into dv. On solving this you will get gamma p is equal to minus dp divided by you can cancel this gamma and this gamma so v raised to minus 1 dv so this is equal to gamma p minus dp divided by dv by you can take this to the denominator of p dv that is here again if you look at this equation it it is actually the bulk modulus v. So gamma p will be the bulk modulus. Let's call that as equation number 2. Now we have already found the value of velocity of a longitudinal wave. We have v is equal to root of bulk modulus divided by density. Substituting the value of b which is equal to gamma p we will get Velocity of the sound wave equal to gamma p divided by rho. So this is the Laplace correction. So now we can check whether it, it, its value is in close accordance with the experimental value. We have for for a for air we have gamma equal to 1.4 under STP standard temperature and pressure and pressure atmospheric pressure is 1.013 into 10 raised to 5 newton per meter square similarly the density of the air molecule will be 1.293 kilogram per meter cube and if you put all the values in here we will get root of 1.4 into 1.013 into 10 raised to 5 divided by 1.293 on solving this you will get something about what three point from solving you will get 3.331 approximately 331 meter per second so this value is in close accordance with the experimental value so definitely the propagation of a sound wave or the longitudinal waves through gas molecule is at a, is under adiabatic condition clear now some authors may write this as we know v is equal to let's say velocity as said by laplace is equal to the same thing gamma p divided by rho so you can write this as vl is equal to root of gamma times root of p by rho but this is the velocity as said by Newton. So velocity of the Laplace, velocity as said by the Laplace equal to root of gamma times velocity of sound wave as said by Newton. Certain others may write like this. 
Okay.